So I've been sick the last couple of weeks. I couldn't pass up doing a video today because my Reef Octopus Diablo DC 10500 autofocus please just failed on me today. Um, it was all cleaned out. There was nothing obstructing the impeller. There wasn't even so much as a hum, and it didn't um, it didn't die during the middle of an on-off cycle. It just was running in the middle of the night. Just the tank got a lot quieter, and um, water level was down this morning. Right now, I got a Rio 1700. Um, just turning the tank over. I lost a lot of flow by switching over to some backup method, but um, yeah, I'm going to be getting something else here pretty soon. Uh, i got to save up for it, though it's going to take me a couple of months to... These aren't cheap. Anyways, this is a review on this pump. I loved it for a little over a year that I had it running. Um, it's about 300 bucks, and it worked great. I ran the automatic fish feeder probably for the first six months I ran it six times during which time I would shut the pump off by killing the power through my apex to this pump and every time it shut off it would make a loud thud um, in hindsight it probably would have been a better option to um, somehow trigger the feed mode for this pump instead of just cycling it off it does have a soft ramp up um, when the power does come back on but I'm I'm suspicious that killing the power up to six times a day was a little bit rough on this pump again I don't know exactly what caused it to fail but um, the cord seems okay going in and it just died not even so much as a vibration was going through the unit when uh, I unplugged it and plugged it back in. I confirmed that the power was on and all that. Um, it would be a, a, a good guess that I might have made some kind of stupid mistake like that, but I confirmed that power was going to the unit, but not even a hum was coming out of this. So. Um, it's kind of mixed feelings on this pump because I loved it for while it was working, but I really would have expected it to last longer than, let's see, um, 16 months? So not even a year and a half. I would have hoped that it would have lasted a bit longer than that for 300 bones. Here's the controller for this Reef Octopus return pump. Um, it's got a, a feed button which lasts for 10 minutes, indicated by this LED here. And it's a variable speed too, so you got your plus and minus, and then the, the, um, the scale shows up there on, you know, whether you're at min or max or somewhere in between. And this just mounts up to, you know, wherever you want. I do like how it has this nice little connector with an O-ring on it to keep water from damaging your controller. But if you mount it like this, you know, it's pretty rare that you're gonna get water going into any of these parts up here if you mount it so you can read it. Um, here is the power supply. Uh, just looks like a, uh, the same size as like a laptop power supply. Um, but there is no way to mount this onto a wall or something, so you're gonna have to get creative if you want to mount that and uh, here's the other end of that that plugs into the controller so again like I said awesome pump when it was working I think I drove it a little bit hard and um, it probably would have lasted a bit longer if I didn't have so many feed cycles where it just killed the power um, so let's say it would have survived maybe three to six times longer if I didn't have the, the power being shut off so much. But at minimum, I would want it to have been shut off probably once 
a day or every two days to change filter socks because with my my sump I don't have the filter socks that have the water that overflows into the filter socks I have it draining straight into the filter sock so I, I have to shut the return off in order to service the filter socks so anyways um, that's my my review it's a mixed bag this time around I got um, a lot of good things to say about this pump and the one bummer is that it was 300 bucks and it only lasted me a little over a year so anyways thanks for watching you guys hit that subscribe button before you take off and uh, let me know leave a comment below on what else you'd like to see me review catch you next time